hate more than when this camera turns off when I think I'm recording. <clears throat> I don't know where my voice is like going, so just bear with me. I just got back from Home Goods and the grocery store. And I like started to put stuff away and I was like, oh yeah, I'm a vlogger. So I guess I'll show you these little details of things that you guys sometimes care about. Quick update is that this is new. This was $12, a little mat. This used to be over there. But I moved it over here just because I get all these like berries from the trees and um, yeah, <laughs> just need a little ting right there. I don't remember where I got this from, it was years ago. And then this is for like, I think over my bed is gonna go, but got this shelf that's pretty snazzy, it was 40 bucks. The idea is like sun, moon type thing. So a little mirror, it's like 25, yeah 25. I set myself on a budget today of $200 for groceries and home decor. And we made it. I think it was like 185 all together. I'm not gonna show you my groceries cause it's just like fruit and vegetables, but all that. And then this little lamp. I'm looking for a lamp for my bedroom for a really long time. It's like September 1st and this, it's like, nature is like fall. I'm like, no! Today's a beautiful day, it's like, perfection but you know that's just like that cool breeze now that just happens to be here because it's september i'm like wait i know i said i hated the humidity and sweating every movement but i kind of liked it too real quick though shout out to vivo home y'all it happened it finally happened i've been wanting a cold press juicer or co whatever this is i've been wanting a hand press citrus juicer since I got the van, because I was like, that would be such a like, you know, it's manual, you don't need electricity. I was like, this would be such a good way to juice on the road. And Vivo Home hooked me up. Thank you, Vivo Home, so much for sending me this. I can't wait to give it a go. I'm gonna review it for you guys, let you know how it is. It's really heavy, so I feel like it's like commercial use for, for real, for real. Are y'all ready for this grand reveal? My room looks so much bigger. I can't believe I didn't think to do this. I'm one of those like, here's the end result. I don't really do the whole watch me get to it. Sorry. It looks dark in here because I'm shooting into the window, but it looks so much better in here. Okay, I hung this little guy up here. I'm gonna get like a plan or something. The new lamp, the mirrors over there, it just is opened it up in here so much. Um, I really don't know if I'll add much else. It also just makes it way more like Shows off the bed more, you know? I have this cool bed for a reason, so like, let me show it off. I really, really like it and I love sleeping by a window. It kind of reminds me of van life days. It would be cool to like, maybe do something over on this wall, but kind of into the minimal feel too. Now that I'm sweating, I'll probably work out. All right, I just like really can't wait. So, not about to juice right now, but let's just see her. Let's just see it. Oh. It's heavy, okay. Okay, it's the real deal. Place fruit, press, lift the lever, remove the orange rind. Wee, I can't wait. Fresh OJ on the way. All right, now it's time to work out. All clean. We did a quick workout today because I'm like kind of thrown off. It's Wednesday, it feels like Tuesday, it's September 1st. I don't know, I just feel weird. So I got a, I got a little unboxing. Do you guys like these? Let me know if you're like tired of seeing this. Supernatural hooked me up. Big shout out to Supernatural. Let's unbox it together. We got a box full of goodies. So if you're not familiar with Supernatural, you're about to be. They are nothing but the naked truth. They're, they're a, um, all natural cleaning. Supplier. Supplier? Supplier? Supplies? I need scissors. Okay, hold on. All right. So this is... Wow, their packaging is so... Like, ah! Oh my God. I just wanna, can I hang this up? This is like a whole art piece. <laughs> that is fire. So this is uh, all about the essential oils for aroma that sticks around to cuddle after. Ooh, I'm so excited to use essential oils to clean my home. Okay, the aesthetics, you just got me. I'm sold. Loving the sustainability and how heavy duty everything is. Wow, use water to lather your powdered hand soap and begin your new cleansing ritual. I've never seen powdered hand soap, but this is the little container for it. What? 
packaging. Like it's just so, ha! So we have counters and granite, glass and mirrors, bath and tile, and wood and floors. And then these are all beautiful bottles. Oh, so each one is for one. So like this is the counters and whatever. Counters and granite that I don't have. Counters and granite. Supernatural. You get it, there's four spray bottles in there and they're each for a different thing. Today has been a super productive day. Shaved my legs, which is saying something. Rearranged my room. I'm about to do laundry at Tay's. Morning! Look at me hanging out in my bedroom. Look at my cute little shelf. I've just been working from bed this morning. Did breath work, had tea, did journaling, the usual. I think I'm gonna try to go on a run at some point today. You ever just like wake up in the fields and like have no reason like there's nothing that like happened that i'm like ah feels i'm just in these things i'm just in the feels and i don't even know why anyway we're gonna work through the feels and we're going to wow it's 11 30 already uh we're gonna film some videos today we're gonna like film a lot of videos today actually big film day Hey y'all, it's my birthday today. It's not my birthday, but it's my birthday. Certified Lover Boy has officially dropped and I'm trying to, I really, I hate joining the hype, but anybody who's hating on Drake is just a hater. Like, the album's great. That's that on that. Man, I was really gonna have an attitude because he said January. It is nine months later, Drake. The first song I forgave him. I was like, you know what? It was worth the wait. <laughs> I got some new, here I'll give you the floor view. Is that cool? I got some new Vivo Barefoots. I feel like these look so weird. Like on camera? I mean, maybe they're weird in person too. <laughs> but basically, they're like, you don't have to wear socks. Um, and they're just like a lot better for your feet. See how like wide they are. Like a lot of workout shoes and stuff are more like narrow in the toe. And these are not, I have them in white and I wanted them again in white, but apparently y'all found out about these and they're like all sold out. I just love not wearing socks and just, your feet are like another brain, y'all. Like they tell you so much. So really look into like taking care of them as much as you can, cramming them into shoes that really in the long run are not good for like your knees, your hips, your back, like it's all connected. So you gotta, you gotta get your feet right. You heard me. Anyway, I woke up twerking to Drake, so since I've already got a light sweat going, we got our pre-workout in, I'm gonna go on a run. Uh, Cause I've been saying this like all summer and have it. <laughs> and now that it's 65 degrees and I feel like I won't pass out if I do it, uh, I think we're gonna do it. Went on a mile and a half run. It was really good. I like killed that shit. I could have kept going. Like I didn't feel like dead at the end. You know, it's been a long time. But we did it. And then I went to Home Depot um, because my apartment complex is Aggie McGee and uh, there's no screens on our windows. But we know I love sleeping outside, van life. So I got one of these adjustable um, screens and you just pop it in your window. And now I have a screen. Like I can sleep with the window open and that makes me so happy. What else did I get? I'm out of breath because I was just doing a dance party. Oh, I got some new plants. Do you guys care? I just got this little guy. He's really cute. And then I got a little guy for up here. I don't want like something right here, but the want to want. But I got this little guy. I'm shooting uh, some content right now. So I figured I'd give you some behind the scenes. And this shit smells amazing. I just did or like tried out the uh, bat and tile. So you like get these little, I think I showed you guys. I showed you guys. But you know, you pour the little whatever those are called, into the water. I'm gonna shoot this hand soap. I thought I'd give you guys like a little insider on what this life is like. Four pieces of content that I need to complete. And uh, this is the first one. So first one is just a static post and that is due next week. So we're busting it out right now. Oh, don't you fall. Okay. I am definitely somebody who like overshoots. So like this probably will not even make it anywhere, but I'd rather overshoot than undershoot while everything looks nice. I'm gonna just do this real quick on the vlog. Is that cool? You guys, are you guys into it? I'm into it. Prep your reusable hand soap shaker by removing lid. 
cooking. Let's see, shall we? Live review. Oh my god, it smells so good. Oh my god. Let's get it. This is definitely gonna get all over the place. Ah! Uh, no! Oh my god, it smells so good. Wow. I think I figured it out. How much do I use? It seems like a lot. Oh wow! That's really cool! Whoa! It's really light! Wow! My hands smell really good. Alright, I'm gonna finish shooting this stuff. And then... I don't really know. Good morning! Actually, it's 12.38. So, it is Sunday, I just filmed my van cast which is no longer the Van Cass, actually, wow. I've renamed it to The Exhale. So those of you who don't know, over on my Patreon, I have a weekly podcast, um, and it did take place in my van, but just recently since moving into the apartment, it just made more sense to kind of change some things up, and a lot of things are changing. If this is up by the time things are changing, and it feels really good. But yeah, it's now called The Exhale. I'm a little mellow today, I've been crying because uh, Figgy, my brother's dog, passed away yesterday. I know it's just a dog or whatever, but it's not. Uh, anybody that has a four-legged love in their life, I'm sure you get it. They become like family. And um, she has been sick all year. We honestly thought she was gonna pass like back in March when I was there. Um, so she's such a little fighter and she made it to September 4th. Yeah, RIP Figgy. I think I'm all cried out. Grief is probably one of the hardest emotions to work through, like whether it's a dog or it's a person or it's your identity, like grief is just really thick. It comes in waves and you think you're good and then I was doing my breathwork session and I was like, whoa, I still got a lot more tears, you know, like <laughs> my brother and I were crying on the phone last night. I thought that I got a lot out then, but it's just so, that's like been his like ride or die road dog, you know, like down. I don't think it'll hit me until I like see him. But yeah, she's been in plenty of vlogs. I don't know if you guys are familiar or remember, but yeah, she's lived in New Jersey, she's lived in California, she's probably traveled more places than most humans. But it's also kind of relieving in a sense because she was so sick and it was really putting a lot on my brother and putting a lot on everybody really just, I mean herself too, like watching her every day just kind of suffer. It's, it's a really bittersweet like relief of like, okay. This part always makes me cry so, <clears throat> Try not to cry. But she died like smiling, like, you know how dogs have their way of smiling. She was smiling all day yesterday, that's what my brother said. And when it was time, the sun was literally setting, she was under an elderberry tree. And she just smiled and I think finally accepted everything. And I, I know, it's, again, I feel kind of crazy, like this is a dog, but like, it's still a life, it's still an energy, it's still a spirit, it's sad. And it's also just like brings a lot of awareness to like life and death and everything in between. So yeah, just want to say rest in peace, Figgy, and um, I'm gonna miss that little one. But moving on with this Sunday, I'm gonna try this citrus press out because I haven't yet, and I want some fresh press OJ. So Vivo Home. I just told you guys sent me this citrus press, and we're gonna give it a go. I have plenty of oranges. And I'm so excited. All right. Let's do it. It wouldn't be me if my freaking vlog camera didn't die, right? But I did it. Everything was dying at the same time. Perfectly ate navel oranges. They weren't the juiciest oranges, but cheers. I've always wanted one of these. This is like one of those things I've like secretly always wanted. And I'd be like, yo, if you want to buy me anything, like get me a citrus press. Thank you to Bebo Home for making my Sunday a little brighter with this fresh OJ. Look how like orange that is. And I put the oranges in the fridge so it's like cold. Woo! That just woke me up. <laughs> hey! I feel out of it today. I like just realized it in this moment. Like as I'm turning this camera on, I'm like, 
I'm a little out of it right now. I'm gonna drink this juice. Evolution Juice, can you please sponsor me? They're like really one of my favorites. I'm getting ready to go to Whole Foods to just kind of co-work. My friend Jeremiah, he was on a van cast a couple weeks back. Yeah, sometimes it's just nice to get out the house and have someone there to like bounce ideas off of and stuff. So, gonna go to Whole Foods, it's like my favorite place to work, like over a coffee shop. I just realized I like last night set all these like goals, I guess, for today, and I just woke up today and didn't do any of them. It's been, it was a weird night of sleep and weird dreams. Woke up at like 5.30 and then was like gonna start the day, but I was just like, mm. And then really didn't get out of bed until like 10 o'clock. I haven't done something like that in a really long time. You know, obviously maybe I needed it, I guess, but I don't know, it has me like all thrown off right now. I just don't really feel like inspired to do a lot of the things that I was gonna do. Like, you ever have those nights where you lay in bed and you're like, tomorrow I'm gonna be a whole new person. I'm about to take over the world basically tomorrow. You know, like all these goals, all these things. And then you wake up and like, <laughs> I don't know what those thoughts were about. So I'm just gonna be gentle with myself and honor that that's how I feel today. I think it's also going to rain. I'm actually really excited about. <laughs> what up though? So just had to shout out real quick. These biker shorts are from Five Below. Five dollars. And they have pockets. Wait, who's pocket? Oh, we don't have on this side? Oh, well they have a pocket. Either way, we're about to go on a hike. And I need some pineapple juice to really wake me up. I'm a little sleepy today. Get, get, get it. What up, though? Oh, I gotta plug my Wi-Fi back in. <laughs> Anyone else? Turn the Wi-Fi off every time you go to sleep? If not, highly recommend. Okay, since moving my bed this way, side note, they're doing construction on the apartment under me, so that's what all that noise is, if you can hear it. But the dreams, Man, this whole week I haven't really vlogged much. I've been like really sleepy. I don't know how to explain it. I mean, I think it's definitely like change of weather type of thing. But I just like, yeah, I've just been wanting to be like really cozy. Like I have no interest in like doing much. Uh, it's Friday, my dudes. And I plan to just be out and about on my bike all day. It's kind of like what I told myself I'd do today. I'm gonna get a little bit of things done right now. But I do want to talk about, I guess we should talk about it. My name changed. I kind of already explained it on Instagram, but I've never changed my name. It's been CBud online since you could be online. And I think I'll always be CBud at heart. I don't think that's like for real like dead. Um, and I kind of even was playing with the idea of like, since I do services for other people, like yesterday I was doing photography all day and I do social media management for some people. Um, that being like CBud services and then Casey Michelle is like my own Kind of thing i don't know if that's real but casey michelle is my new online identity casey hyphen michelle is my whole first name actually i just resisted it a lot um during like attendance in school they'd be like michelle casey because you know everything is like backwards i'll just be like it's casey michelle and then everyone would be like that's your name like what it was just always a whole thing but as i've gotten older i've kind of really liked it and i just feel like it's a lot more mature and it's like a little softer, a little more feminine. Um, so anyway, long story short, if any links don't work for anything, it's because it's now some form of fashion Casey Michelle. I wish that everything was cohesively the same. That was the beauty of CBud. Like, all everything was underscore CBud. But it's okay, everything's fine. First world problem. But for the most part, everything is like underscore Casey Michelle underscore or just Casey Michelle. I've been trying my best to update all the links on everything. Um, so just let me know if you've been like trying to access something and it's not working because that's probably my bad. Any other updates for you? Uh, Connected Camping is next Saturday. We are almost sold out. I think we have five tickets left as I'm recording this. Um, I'm really excited about it. It's in a whole new location. I don't know if I've talked about this one here or not, but it's a little overwhelming, but exciting. Uh, but it's in an entirely new location. With this whole rebrand, I guess I also want to say real quick, this is a long clip, but <laughs> I, um, I don't want to get like super like uh, cookie cutter influencery, but there is like a, I don't know, I just want to Step things up a little bit. Don't even get your expectations too high, but I'm just saying that I personally have felt like I've just kind of like found a recipe that works and kind of plateaued with it and I'm ready to like do-do. 
So if things change or seem cooler or less cooler, um, <laughs> you will be here to witness it and let me know hopefully what you think. But yeah, just a disclaimer that your girl is making some changes. Found us a good little spot under the shade. I just made some reels and TikToks. I'm still like a little resistant to that side of the internet, but I know that that's the way things are going. It took me forever to give in to that. Hey, butterfly. Like I just got a TikTok. So if you guys want to follow me, follow me. I'm not saying that I'm great at it, but I have one of those. And I just made some like breathwork related content. I don't know. I just feel old for some reason. I'm just like, how do you do that? Like, how do people do it and make the cool sounds and effects? Like, it just makes me feel old and I don't like that. Anyway, I'm going to do my actual breath session now because I actually didn't get my full hour in. So that's what we're going to do. And then we're going to ride out. I just found a whole festival. <laughs> I did not know any of this was happening today. We are back home. I had to change because it got hot out of nowhere. Making a smoothie. What's new? This is just banana, frozen bananas, blueberries, and dates. Uh, I'm using oat milk. I'm throwing in. A little teaspoon of that tomato sauce, and I just like the way this tastes. I don't do it for any protein reasons at all, and yeah, it's just chocolate peanut butter flavored. So that's how much diet tomato earth I'm putting in. Anyone trying to buy me a Vitamix? I don't know. I used to have one. Um, it just doesn't look much better. <laughs> I used to have one though, and it was a, like somebody had given it to me. It was like a family friend gifted it. That one was like old school one. It was like. Retro and it died on me. So anybody trying to buy me a Vitamix so I can make raw vegan soup come this winter? I make the best smoothies in town. You can ask about me. Frozen bananas are really the secret though. To the best consistency. Mm -hmm. 